The fact of the case is that there is a Federal Arbitration Act, but not a general Federal Contracts Act. Once upon a time, there was DirecTV, providing premium channels to its customers. Until one day... These customers wanted to cancel their subscription. DirecTV charged early termination fees, so the customers attempted to bring a class action lawsuit against DirecTV. Oh, the DirecTV service agreement provided for individual arbitration and specifically precluded class arbitration. However, there was a caveat that it did not apply in states where state law made class arbitration waivers unenforceable. DirecTV's request to order two-party arbitration was denied as California courts ruled that these were in fact unenforceable in California. Those two lower courts also rejected the suggestion that the Federal Arbitration Act preempted California state law as it was their interpretation that the contract referred to state law specifically. The Supreme Court concluded that the term law of your state adopted California law without regard to the operation of FAA preemption. The court further found that the specific term law of your state controlled the more general provision in the customer agreement requiring that it be governed by the FAA. The court also found that the state court's interpretation violated the Federal Arbitration Act's requirement that agreements to arbitrate be placed on the same footing with all the other contracts. In conclusion, the efforts by courts to circumvent arbitration agreements will not be tolerated. Court will not intervene in matters of pure contract interpretation. Parties retain the power to agree upon whatever legal regime they wish to govern their arbitration agreements. The court is now adjourned. <laughs>